one day Lori was telling me about uh, how many broccoli heads she had to clean because you know she's got all these heads she's got to clean all these individuals and she's like Frank you wouldn't believe uh, how slippery the floor can get with when you have <laughs> brassica seeds rolling around on the floor and you're trying to walk around and it's like walking on ball bearings you know and I'm like you're cleaning seed indoors and she goes yeah I said how are you cleaning the seed she says well Jim's got a little um, belt thresher tabletop belt thresher and she says the seeds just go all over the place <laughs> And I didn't say it to her, but my thought was, damn girl, didn't you learn anything from me? <laughs> <laughs> because if I had to clean a head of rock, this is what I would do. I would stick it in a bin like this. And I would do this. No seeds were lost. Label, flag from the field. This is all trash. There's only this much seed in here, and it's all right here. See all those plants? I got a bunch of plants there. I got like A through M. And, I'm gonna, and, I'm, and I want all these plants to go into their own individual seed envelopes, just like you guys do, right? So, figure it out that this would be something that would be really useful for you guys to know. Eighth inch screen, you can make yourself. Dust always sticks to the inside. Don't knock it out into your seat. You want to get rid of that. Thing. Baby butt wipe container. <laughs> you can get it from anyone who's recently had children. <laughs> These are descended from 1992. Pretty sure. Um, <laughs> Rubbermaid. Right? This is the rankest wind. <laughs> there are better winds than this. I mean, this wind is very gusty. Uh, I used to live in a place that had really nice wind. And this land wind is not very good. But even so, I can still do this. Could you do it in front of a fan? Oh, yeah. You could, but then you would have to be inside. Not if you had a, an extension cord. No, you can't use a fan outdoors. Oh, you can't? <laughs> no, because the wind is blowing. Well, no, it's the wind's not blowing. The wind is always blowing. <laughs> Here. Here, the wind is always blowing. That's true, especially in the afternoon. The problem with a fan is, for most sea cleaning equipment, you are indoors with And if you are in a room with a sea cleaning machine, you're breathing dust like these unfortunate people downwind from me. <laughs> I'm not breathing a, a lipid dust. The dust will kill you. <laughs> dust will kill you. Over time, organic dust syndrome is a real thing. Okay, so what I just did was, there are little seeds on there that are not round. So as I'm pouring it back and forth, I'm not just using the wind. I'm using this flat surface also to get rid of things. This is the magic screen size for all brassicas. This is 664. It says so right on. There's also a 6.564. What usually happens... Huh? That's a nice number, isn't it? 64. I know, you could also call it... They never reduce them though. It's just you can always go the other way to 128, like 10 and a quarter centimeters. The Europeans get very upset. <laughs> okay, so 
for almost every species of seed, there's a magic screen size that passes all the seed but keeps the, the chaff, right? So what you need, if you're going to be cleaning a lot of seed, once again, I'm using this bin as a sort of a flat surface, leaving behind stuff like that. Okay, well at this point, you could put this seed in an envelope and you could use it. And no dust. And I could do this a lot faster if I weren't talking. If I had to do it. <laughs> so what I like to do is come out and just set myself up with a bunch of these things. I always have envelopes. I make a bunch of I they label everything out, get it all laid out so that the envelopes match the tag on the plant. And I can just go through these things and crush, 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 and drink beer, drink beer, crush, crush, do this, listen to the news, and not breathe any dust. And at the end of the day, I got all these seeds in their envelope. You don't break anything when you're listening? I don't what? You don't break anything when you're listening? Uh, I do these days. I haven't had to listen to the news lately. I don't see while listening to the news lately. Okay, so there's one other step you can do. Um, Usually there's small seeds and big seeds. Most of the time we want the big seeds. Generally you want to have seeds of all one size anyway, because if you have big seeds and small seeds, <coughs> you might see differences in germination, size of seedling. These are variables that you might want to control. A bunch, you know, if you have screens, you can size your seeds. Uh, and it just makes everything a lot easier. Um, I don't want any kale seed that's smaller than a seventeenth of an inch. Is what this is. So I just got rid of all this, and now, uh, basically, I got my first pack of seed. This is from Wild Red Overwintered Population Mother D, and that's all there is to it. So. No electricity, you're not indoors, you can drink beer because you're not on school property, <laughs> and um, it's, it's really low tech, you know, it's really low tech. This is, screens like this, if you buy them from a screen company, it might cost you $40. If you just buy the perforation, maybe it's $20, and then you got to make your own frame. That'll take you more than $20. Worth but they last you a while. These things last more. Oh, you bought that pre-made? Yeah, this is pre-made. This cost, actually, I got it used, so it was 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, on the other hand, this works really good. This is just window screen. This is 1 16th or 4 64 square. Uh, this is a great lettuce screen. Put lettuce on this. If it is a modern small lettuce, all of it will go through. It turns out that lettuce seed size is correlated to lettuce head size. Did you know that? I didn't. <laughs> I'm not even sure it's true, but it seems to be. When I, when I get lettuce off of mini heads, it all goes through here. If I take it off of good old-fashioned big-ass romains, about half of it will stay on here and half of it will go through. Um, anyway, but you see, once again, remember what I talked about when you're making a screen and you want to put this on it? Because it holds the screen nice and firm and flat. So do you attach the screen like with staples beforehand? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and then caulk it. Yeah, so you, you put it on there, you, 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 know, you do it so that it's stretched nicely like a canvas and it's as flat as you can get it. Put enough staples in it to hold it like that. And then this, this is just acrylic caulk on your finger and you know, like that. And, and it will stay flat for a long time. Actually, as you use it, it tends to dish because mm -hmm. you do things like that. But in essence, it stays pretty flat. Um, so some seeds are ridiculously easy to do like this. It's like corn. <laughs> right. Brassicas are relatively easy. Uh, some flower seeds are incredibly difficult. Uh, Gomphrena seed. Gomphrena is a popular flower. You grew the seed of it, and it was like, 
we just kept walking by the seat because it was so hard to clean. It looked like a, a bunch of uh, feathers kind of stuck together, little miniature feathers, and they're all stuck together in a wad. You could not singulate that seed to save you. All right, so, so, Mark, this is Mark Lutera, by the way. Mark worked for me since 2014. This year he's independent. He's building machines and farm equipment there. He's a farm consultant. You need a dryer, an irrigation system, wolf trap. You can do it all. <laughs> um, so anyway, it's nice having Mark around. Mark is really good at cleaning seeds, and he figured out that the way to clean Gomfrina seed was, I don't know how this intuition works, put the dry seed in a bin with soap, a bin with water in it, then take an immersion blender. <laughs> and immerse and blend the seed. And what happens is the seed becomes disconnected because of, because of the moisture and then being struck by the immersion blender blade, it separates the seed from this fluffy material that's all over. The fluff stays on the surface of the water and the seed drops to the bottom. And you get beautifully clean seed. Now, this is a process that you would not want to have to do with 50 pounds of seed. And somebody knows how to clean that stuff in mass, but we don't. And you're going to have a hard time getting those people to tell you how they do that. Because cleaning seeds is part of the, well, your method is part of your commercial advantage. If you know how to do it, your competition doesn't. That helps. <laughs> On the other hand, there are seeds like this. This is a Maltese cross. Anybody want to buy some seed? I got a lot of it. <laughs> With this, all you do is dip it over. And it comes out like salt. You don't really even have to crush it. It's just right there. And that's what this is. So really what we do is we cut these and we just sit them in a bin, just sitting there for a few days. And most of it falls out just sitting there. Or you come back in a couple of days and you just tap it on the side. And that's all there is to it. I mean, like I said, it's ridiculously easy. And then this seed, I happen to know, will pass through this screen. Look at how much of it there is. Wow. <laughs> no kidding. That didn't three come. That no, that good. did not come from three seeds. Okay. <laughs> that would be magic. <laughs> anyway, you see how easy that is? I didn't need a belt pressure to do that. And uh, really, I widowed this. Sorry. some of Mark's um, window wizards in there. We have some fans in there, just window fans for doing some coarse uh, winnowing. Uh, and we set up some tables and everybody's got screens and we turn up the music. We clean seeds from November to mid 
Some things are really easy, like this. Unfortunately, this is not something I can sell very much of. Gonfrina, I could probably sell a ton of it, but it's hard to do. And so, if you're in the, you know, if you're in the, you know, independent seed business like this, you got to figure out all the steps. And that's why we grew 200 varieties of flowers in two years, so that all those species. We could go through all the steps and see whether or not this is something we want to grow. Gomfrina, I've got a tiny little patch of it. I'd like to have it in my catalog, but I'm never going to sell that to another company to sell it. I'm never going to be, you know, somebody else's producer for me. I'm only going to produce that for me. Maltese cross? Anybody want to buy some Maltese cross? <laughs> <laughs> I have more Maltese cross than I will ever be able to sell. And so <clears throat> that's the balance in, in figuring out, you know, which of these 200 varieties are we going to eventually grow? Well, it's an interaction between this climate, whether they will make seeds here, uh, can we clean and dry the seeds? Do they mature early enough? They can be dried.